Hi everybody, welcome to YS Kong Driving. Here we are on a weekday morning and we have a sultry sky and a little bit hazy but we are here at the BH Petrol Station in Gombak and we're going to start off our drive today in the Fusio Land Track. Yes, we're going to take it up the mountain to see how it goes. So stay with us. guys if you are ready let's go okay so we're just getting out of the VHP station and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drive it on the highway to give our viewers a chance to see what it's like driven at normal speed okay so what are we in guys we are in the Pujo Land Track. Yes, it's a 4x4 pickup from Pujo. Yes, and uh, in terms of size, it is about the size of the other pickup trucks in this segment. So we have an overall length of 5331 mm, and I think the height is uh, 1877. Yep. Mm. Oh, that's Asher. Say hi to Asher. Hello, hello. And uh, Asher is here for the ride today. Okay, so back to the vehicle. As, as I said, we have a length of 5331 mm, a uh, height of 1877, and the width is 1925 mm. The wheelbase is 3180, so it's actually quite long and uh, ground clearance 235 mm and also the overall weight is 2095 kilograms that brings it to slightly under 2.1 tons okay so to move all of this we have a 1.9 liter diesel common rail engine with a turbo of course and we get 150 horsepower and also 350 newton meters of torque okay so uh, we have two wheel drive and four wheel drive and uh, normally it is uh, drive to the rear wheels and then there's an electronic diff selector uh, drive selector you can switch on the go from two high that means a two wheel drive high ratio with rear wheel drive to four wheel high and that can happen on the fly at up to 100 kilometers per hour like all normal trucks of this size and then they also have four low and you have to actually stop because uh, the reason why they cannot go to four low on the fly is because there's a further reduction uh, of the gear and if you do that you just break your gearbox here yeah. so all of them are like that to go to four wheel low you have to go down to a zero speed put the gear in the neutral and that's it okay so uh, that's the mechanical part of the vehicle we have 18 inch wheels and standard on the car are all terrain tires so it's good if you have a need to go to some rough roads and all that because all terrain is a sort of like all-rounder tire that can go on the tarmac as it is now and you can also go off-road immediately whereas they have the HT which is highway terrain tires and those are main, meant uh, usually for highway and they may or may not be suitable for off-road because sometimes uh, the tread is more for highway and smooth and it doesn't have the little chunks there to grip the road so the AT is the good compromise of course if you really want to go really muddy places then you need to have the MT uh, which basically means 
mud terrain. Can you help me open this? Thing? Okay. Okay, so we are going at oops, uh, we are a bit higher than the speed limit. Okay, so now we are at 85 kilometers per hour. The speed limit here is 90, yeah. So okay. So at 90, okay, let's go. Okay, this is 90. And the engine is pulling at a little bit above 1006, 1700 RPM. Yeah, that is the engine speed that you're pulling. And there's a six speed gearbox, of course, and it's automatic. So this means that the land track is potentially very economical and it should be as economical as any of the other diesels. And the fact that it's a 1.9 liter engine means it is more economical than say a 2.5 or 3 liter diesel yeah it's just because the capacity is smaller but of course being of smaller capacity it has smaller horsepower and so do you think 150 horsepower is enough well 10 years ago the popular model was the Hilux and it was a very popular model it was a top seller but it only had 108 horsepower or 108 PS so when you are on the dirt or in the work side or rough road it's not about the horsepower but it's about your ground clearance it's about your traction and that is where four wheel drive and stuff like that comes into play so the Hilux has always been a very popular model and is known for its reliability and so here we have a new challenger from Peugeot and uh, we are now going to test its comfort level and its handling on the mountain I've already done a walk around so there's all the main specs you are there but I can just what I can remember is yeah it's 18 inch wheels uh, and it's got a six speed gearbox and it's automatic and let's give you a little bit about the interior actually interior is quite good you have a uh, hard wearing plastic yeah on the on the panels and also it's good as a workhorse but in terms of the seating you get leather you get electrical seats for both driver and co-driver and you got a lot of leg room and lots of storage and you have USBs you have a very nice uh, infotainment set that has got even uh, Apple CarPlay and uh, Android Auto speedometer and meter console that looks like a uh, very Peugeot yeah uh, it's got the ref counter in the reverse direction and it's got the same what you call a uh, flat bottom steering wheel and uh, it's very car like as far as ride is concerned we are going on the highway and on the highway the ride is pretty good now uh, of course you have to understand that this is meant as a pickup truck it's made as a pickup truck so the suspension is a bit harder than an SUV for example so trucks are always sprung a bit harder so they may be a bit uncomfortable for some people but if you have a need for a truck yeah this is one of the trucks you can consider but it needs to be tough and strong and it is tough and strong okay so uh the price well it's for p malaysia is hundred twenty thousand. there's only one spec available and you can use it either as a workhorse or as a daily driver it's 120,000 ringgit and uh, for East Malaysia I think it's uh, about 2,000 ringgit more the seats are very comfortable yes the seats are very comfortable the suspension can be a little bit uh, it sprung on the very firm side of comfortable <laughs> or firm side of firm you might say of course the AT tires also have uh, harder or rather stiffer side walls and yeah the, the HDs would ride better on the highway well every vehicle every tire everything is just a choice of what you want to put into the car yeah and 
there are no pedal shifters uh, you don't need pedal shifters in a truck although it'd be good to have them and but you have your plus minus yeah uh, on the gear lever you just pull it to the right and then it's forward to go up and backwards to go down so sometimes for these trucks it's good just to leave them in auto and it hasn't been long since people used to say that the truck must be a manual yeah then they somebody came along with an auto and they said no lah no uh, the auto will never work but then many many years ago i've taken a truck with automatic transmission into the jungle and went through some tough terrain and all and actually auto is just as good as manual because when you're going through tough terrain it's not about speed but rather about whether your car can get through and uh, being an automatic transmission there's one last thing you have to worry about when trying to get the car through some mud patch or something like that so anyway uh, the signals on the land track are on the correct side yeah uh, for right hand drive and we are getting near to the exit to Genting so we will now slowly mosey over and hope that everybody else is going to Bentong and not going up to Genting okay now we have a van okay there's also a drive mode there is eco and normal if we are normal now I am on sport mode so I don't know if there's any difference but well sport mode makes the sound a bit more urgent just check it out a little bit well usually there is enough power la. it's up to you what you deem as enough or not enough well for sure this is not a racing car and uh, you are not supposed to drive the car like this up the mountain but of course uh, being on YS Kong driving channel our viewers want to see what they can do right <laughs> right Asher yeah I think okay so. I am going to go into manual and it's on third gear now and we're going to go up yeah, okay, I went to fourth and he went up. Third, second. Oh, he shifts up by itself. I should hold on to these keys. Yes, they make a lot of noise. <laughs> It's not bad. <laughs> That's third gear. Okay, we have the king in front of us, but we are past it. Yes. Yeah, that was a third gear corner. Yeah, you don't need to go the second unless it's very very sharp. Because there's enough torque 350 newton meters of torque is a lot of torque and this was something that was not available like 10 years ago I, if I'm not mistaken lah. Okay, we have double wishbone in the front uh, and it sprung quite well and we have also, of course at the back there are leaf springs and we also have a ventilated disc in the front and at the back we'll have drums I think if I'm not mistaken can you check the spec see the back is drum or brakes. yeah rear brakes I may be wrong but it doesn't matter the brakes work fine we'll just let Asher get a bit classic looking at it <laughs> no worries okay we had to shift the second 
again because I had to slow down for the motorbike in front of me. Oh yeah, drum in the rear. Okay. Okay, so uh, Asher has confirmed uh, it's drums at the rear, so it's good to have all these young people sit down there and be the reference material, yeah? <laughs> Warning. Now, where is traction control? Do you see traction control? Uh, I don't see. Ah, uh, mm. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's off. Yes, it's off. Anything else? <laughs> oh, they have also hill descent control. They have. Uh, that is a uh, diff lock. Yeah, there's a diff lock. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so this vehicle has got diff lock, which we are not using. Uh, you only do that when you are, like, 
be stuck in mud and you need to lock the, the left and right wheels together so it can turn together so if one side is slipping the other side still has grip wow truck going very very slow yeah so it's good to be careful now uh, when you have diff lock on then your steering is very very bad because the two wheels try to turn together and then the car will not steer properly yeah so diff lock is only for you to get out of trouble yeah uh, in a muddy spot or something like that so other than that you don't use it so all things said I think this vehicle is quite well appointed uh, as a four-wheel drive truck huh? so it'll be very very good in off-road conditions so if you need to go off-road this is one of the vehicles you can consider it's a uh, very high spec for a very what you call uh, affordable price got 360 yeah and it's got 360 uh, cams and all uh, all that so it's very car like in that respect yeah you also get the side view and the front view back view top bird's eye view of the vehicle so that can be very useful in tight spots just now when I was reversing I found it very useful and the camera is actually quite high res okay so now uh, in auto form or rather in auto mode the gear response is a bit slow what happened here oh there's a breakdown and ambulance holy oh, shit the guy, I think the guy knocked the barrier if my bumper came out oh but it's going so slow <laughs> I mean this is a very slow corner Never mind, I hope everybody's okay. Okay, we have this saga that is in many lanes at the same time, but he moved over for us. Thank you very much. Now back to manual, and we are in third gear with stability control and traction control off. But I think in some vehicles it's never completely off, lah. they just bluff you that it's off. Or they just delay the activation. Hmm, very nice power. Okay, uh, it, it is a 1.9 but it's delivering enough power like a 2.5 or 2.2, you know. So it's very, very nice. I'm quite impressed. The vehicle is 2.1 ton but it doesn't feel like it's 2.1 tons. still in third gear and there's enough torque to pull it up as long as there's nobody blocking you it's okay It feels like there's an LSD. Not bad. <laughs> I think there's an LSD. It felt like there was one. They didn't mention, but I think there is.
see there's a truck that we have to share the corner with so better slow down a bit for this one yeah can <laughs> Emergency stop signal because when I brake very hard, the hazard lights came on. That's the warn people at the back. So, actually, there are a lot of features they I don't know if it's mentioned, la, but it's there. La. So, we keep on discovering new things yeah. about the truck, and that's good, guys. So, they have actually put a lot of thought into this vehicle. Well, the most important thing is. The handling yeah I think it's pretty pretty good I mean I've never seen a Peugeot pickup truck before lah, you know and this is the first one that I see and of course I had my little doubts you know can or cannot you know they know or not have they done this before or not and then of course uh, now I am quite convinced lah. so this vehicle is quite good and very affordable because for 120,000 ringgit you are getting features on a vehicle that may be about 130 yeah. and there are more features than you would expect This is the last corner, yes! <laughs> we have to finish behind this. <laughs> okay, yep, we're in front. <laughs> it looks really well. Huh? <gasps> so how is it? Okay, huh? <laughs> okay, back to auto. And so, just a quick wrap. Overall, pass. <laughs> It's not the fastest car in the world. Like. It's not about the power. It's about the handling. It's about how well it drives and the comfort and all. So overall, I think as a truck, this is quite decent. Yeah, it's a decent truck. If you have no other vehicle to come up the Gunting on a weekend drive, you can also take this one. Lah, huh? But seriously no, it's not actually meant for that. Yeah. It's meant for you to go camping, lah, go. Uh, off the beaten track la, and of course you still have to drive on the highways to get there and once you're getting there you'll be comfortable and once you go off-road this vehicle will be very very capable all right guys thanks very much for being with us and till we meet again in the next video don't forget we sell this vehicle on our channel too so go to shop.yskongdriving.com or drop me a line a WhatsApp at 016-335-0609 And if you have not subscribed Well, now's your chance Hit that subscribe button We need all the subscribers we can get And Thank you so much for all the people Who have been supporting us all these years We treasure your comments And uh, We get a lot of encouraging comments from all our supporters thank you very much it means a lot to me all right so till we meet again in the next video cheers subscribe <laughs>